Hello and welcome. So today Jax decided to buff the Hex Hunter bow a bit. It wasn't as useful with the release of the EOC. They also upgraded the Duel Arena graphically. Nothing changed too much, but there are a few things I want to note about it. But I went to check out the Hex Hunter bow and see how it fares with the other items. So I went to get a Sagittarian short bow to compare the two. Between a Sagittarian short bow and a Hex Hunter, they're both they're pretty much both level 99, the Hex Hunter is level 98, the Sagittarian Shortbow is level 99, but the first test was a damage test, testing the repeated damage from the ultimate ability Deadshot, which hits a consistent number every time proportional to the weapon damage that you're using, as long as it doesn't miss. So it'll hit the same number every single time, and from that you can see how they compare with each other. So the Hex Hunter hit a 548 consistently and uh, Sagittarian Shortbow hit 823. So as you can see from the repeated damage from the Sagittarian Shortbow it is 1.5 times higher than the Hex Hunter Bow. Fair enough that the Hex Hunter Bow is a shield bow whereas the Shortbow is purely offensive. So what about does the Hex Hunter still possess the passive of dealing bonus damage against mages? So I used this ability against a mage and no it still hits the same. Okay, so fair enough. Maybe it could do more damage if it, maybe it wasn't an ultimate ability. So I tested that with a basic ability piercing shot. So the Hex Hunter bow hit a 1310 and the Sagittarian Shortbow hit 1965. So again, the Sagittarian Shortbow dealt exactly 50 times more damage than the Hex Hunter bow. So what does that exactly mean for Hex Hunter? Pre EOC, the Hex Hunter was amazing because the DPS surpassed even melee weapons when used against mages, including some non mage based bosses, which made it worthwhile to get. But with the introduction of the EOC, everything became tiered. Even though the Sagittarian weapons are level 99 and a Hex Hunter is level 98, the problem is that the Hex Hunter is now a shield bow. It's not just offensive, it sacrifices some damage to get some life points and armor bonus. And so the Sagittarian is just 50% stronger because it is a two-handed weapon solely for damage. And that's where the Hex Hunter just won't do as much damage. As long as the Hex Hunter remains a shield, it just isn't worth using unless it gets its unique passive back where it deals bonus damage against mages. Until that happens, a Hex Hunter would not really be worth considering to bind for actual use. You may want to get it if just because it's rare to have, but besides that, there are better weapons at the moment to consider using. So the other update today was the graphical change to the Duel Arena. Besides the look, I think the upside is that you get an altar close to the teleport location for the Duel Ring, and the bank is made a bit closer, actually a lot closer to the fire altar. So should you want to train you making fire runes, it's a lot easier now. But that's pretty much all the updates for today. They should have the RS3 beta tomorrow, which is quite interesting as... Well, I'm going to make an analogy here where I'll say like, you could either play the live game from a browser, or you could play the live game from a RS3 client. I'm uncertain if there is a client available or not, but that's just an analogy to make it kind of easier to understand. So anything you do on RS3, it is interacting with the same game. The only difference is what you're using to interact with it. With the RS3, it's just changing how you interact with it. So anything you do while on the beta still affects the live game. Since it's only a graphical change, it's not actually changing any type of actual gameplay, which is why it's able to be done. Although it's like, it is a beta, so performance issues are to be expected, there could be game crashes, so I wouldn't say do anything risky, but that's it for today. So thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.